Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm yeah. Office Blood Dance. Office Blood Aiden. All right, Aiden, we've done a terrible weather games one before. Yeah, we Mother did. Nature. We did. Got it out there and then boom, box. When Mother Nature takes over. Yeah, the course. NFL, boom, box it. Outright. Can't boom. do that. Came out for a little bit. So if you've got that window, that tiny little window before it closed because oh, of the bad it weather. Like 24 hours it was. Like 24 hours, yeah. yeah. It was on there. So we thought we'd try and find we where, do it apologize. Might not, where it might not be. That's box. why this one's here, though. Eh? Of course yeah. it starts in Buffalo. Look at that. <laughs> The, That's the insane. You can't like surely like I think any other sport calls the game off. Oh, 100 percent right. Yeah. I think you're right. Why, uh, what is it with the NFL and just not stopping the game? It's probably because it's such an intense schedule that you have to sort of like fill the schedule up, and because they've got the you know they've got everywhere booked, so the stadiums are booked. They're not like for the um, for the Super Bowl, and there's no other way to try and sort of like squeeze them in. Like over here, I've seen you know we play football sort of thing, and it's a po it's a postponement because of heavy rain. Well, there was what a postponement post recently because Lewin's ground wasn't even yeah. ready. What's re so they, what they've got to do then, they've got to try and squeeze them in. So you end up playing like on a Tuesday night, then a Thursday night, then a Saturday. Yeah. Whereas they wouldn't do that in the NFL. You need too much recovery time. Yeah. So it's probably to do with the scheduling why they probably have to, say, play on. Why don't they just you know? make it like the the season longer then? Or so like, And then like have two-week yeah, breaks. Couple, and if you... I think there's a break between the last playoff games anyway in the, in the Super Bowl. Yeah. I think there's two weeks like to try and get recovery. Isn't there as well. Well, you want to try and get people to recover. You want you want your best players in the Super Bowl, don't you? So you want trying to get recovery before the year. But if you leave it too long, then you're going into the next season of like uh, other sports start then, don't they? Yeah. So you run into other sports seasons as well, which you don't want. You know, maybe the playoffs for the baseball or, or basketball. I guess this would be quite a fun sport to play in the snow, though. Oh, it's, uh, all sports fun. We never stop playing when we If you're, if in, you're in the snow, you're more likely to like die for a tackle, I reckon. Do you know what Because it's just like... Depends where you can see. Whatever yeah. you can see. Sure. But yeah, it's, I, mean, I always think about the lines and stuff. Yeah, so I think that someone it. said, I think they're under soil heated. What? So it's not working, is it? Well, we have under soil heating over here. For um, all, all, I think you have to have it in the Premier League. Really? I think it's a necessity, yeah, to have under soil heating. But um, they have them there on the line. So what you'll yeah. see is, the, as soon as the heat kicks in, it'll melt the lines out. So yeah. you'll be able to see them. So sort I of think that's but, quite uh, cool. Yeah, we thought we'd have a go yeah, at the uh, NFL go. terrible weather games. Here we go. Let's do it. Probably all going to be in Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Green Bay. Green is Bay as well. Yeah. yeah. But then you've got heavy rain areas. True. Mm. Let's go. Hundred and fifty. That's that one there. Imagine how cold that would be. Like I said, you have to respect the fans that go to these games. Oh, big time. Big time. Possession brought down by Charles Johnson, so they would have to punt after that. And that's when the monsoon hit. Cheerleaders not taking it, but the fans were loving it. Where is it? Carolina. Is it tough to yeah. play in these conditions with the rain pouring down 5-3? And Carolina ahead in this one. And Gabbert is intercepted. Oh. Hard to see even the cameras. Just their visibility, which so Gabbert with a tough start to the game. Cam Newton having difficulties as well. Oh, having trouble surface? hanging yeah. on to the ball, trying to get rid of it. He's able to dump one off to Greg Olson for a long Making guys miss, dragging wow. players down for a 39 <laughs> yard gain. So despite yeah. the low score and the rain coming down, Jaguars finding a way to move the ball and they were doing it the monsoon season struck early and turned the cotton bowl into a fish bowl <laughs> instead of referees because the surf was up in Dallas Look at that. Jesus it looks like AstroTurf now actually does look like AstroTurf that's <laughs> a massive amount of surface war isn't it yeah That must be a lot more fun, though, I reckon. That would actually be more fun. Sliding around like that. It's the things like your punts that are going to get stuck. Oh, don't get me wrong. It probably ruins, like, back. probably, uh... Coach Ernie Stottner outlined a defense. Makes the game, like, the score a lot lower, I would imagine. Uh, I don't know. I think you're opening, you're opening yourself up to bad injuries as well. It's quite a lot that goes into it. That's why they, when, when it's wet over here and it's super wet, they, they don't like ruining the pitches over here in, like, lower, like, grassroots football. So if you're playing on a park... They don't like on a Sunday league sort of thing and it heavy rains, they call it off now. Mm. They never used to. There used to be puddles all over the place when yeah. we used to play. And the ball used, used to, to get stuck on grass, just mud. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> even that, and we'd move it. Our all weather was shale. Yeah. <laughs> Fence that gave the Cowboys their first apply to football. Not his hands. And slid through the surf for a touchdown. Final score, Wales 13. Might have been it picked. Oh, the party! 
Philadelphia snowed more than wow. six inches during this game. Players had trouble holding on to the ball. No. Nobody could hold on to that thing. Calvin Johnson just got deep scattered, yeah. smothered, and covered in snow. That looks fun. Okay, space job. A lot of fun. <laughs> Reggie Bush actually slipped on uh, snow and ice and re-aggravated a calf injury before the game. Second quarter. Yeah, please. Nick Foles <laughs> looking for Riley Cooper, picked off by Chris Houston, who returns it up the sideline. Ball in trouble for Johnson. But he gets the ball and tries to pass. No catch, but what a slide. That was that little fun. No catch, but what a slide. Cardinals are still trying. A fumble by Johnson and Stinchula recovers on the St. Louis 47. So imagine turning on the TV now to watch your football and you have to watch it like that. In that quality. <laughs> Moving in spite of the weather. Watch the scoring pass to Thomas. Terrific. And New York leads 7 to 3. With I the commentary being that excited. I think that's more like a recording as opposed to live. If you watched if you watched on TV, like as, as it happened, yeah. it was probably better than that. That's a recorded version yeah, of it, yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, true. The rain stays heavy and the mud gets deeper. Johnson can't pass. Off the line, isn't it? He's gonna, probably going to get to that point when you're like, your whole kit's just mudded out, <laughs> so you can't even tell what kits people are wearing. It's like you said, it's proper fun, but even when you see the heavy snow one before, the one before this, like in Philadelphia, wherever it was, uh, doesn't it just give you like uh, holiday vibes, like Christmas vibes? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, like yeah. Christmas is coming, the Super Bowl's around the corner, they're always, it's time for sport, yeah. time for family. Brilliant. Cardinals try a shotgun. Johnson connects with Conrad down the middle. <laughs> they took each other out. Almost knock each other out. And the cards lead 10 to 7. Let's watch the Giants take to the mud. You can hardly <laughs> see their much. uniforms. But that's Thurlow running. In fact, Steve leads everyone with 61 yards gained from scrimmage over land and sea. Y.A. Tittle does his best under difficult conditions, too. He passes to Dick James. James splashes for 34 yards to the St. Louis 18. On the grass, at least. <laughs> the Giants refuse to let up, and this time, it's Tittle to Thurlow for 10 more muddy yards. <laughs> On fourth down, Chandler tries a 21-yard field goal. It's good. And the Giants and the Cardinals... Lucky toe pose that. But, uh, but his team hung tough, beating Miami in the rain and barely losing to Houston in the snow. The victory left Jerry Glenn. Here's the snap. Arena back to throw. Excellent protection. He fires. It is close. What? And it's going to go for a first down. I thought they were playing on a baseball thing. I think, it might have been, I think it might have been used for baseball, and that's why it's like that. Oh, really? Yeah. That makes sense, then, to be fair. Because mm. it was a bit of a weird look. Excellent protection. He fires. It is Yeah, it looks like it's been used for something else. For a first down across the 45, down on the 40-yard line. Nat Moore came up with a great reception in between two blue uh, mud-shirted defenders. Receivers spread all over the place. Dolphins will be coming after him. He drops the throw. Fires it. It's going to be intercepted by Snow. Back at the 45 Looks yard like he's line. Looks Runs laterally. Now comes to the middle of the field and he's going to be dragged down at the 46. Back in uh, Dolphins territory, Tracy Porter. With five minutes to play. The locker room shows to follow. Here's the handoff. Uh, from the oh, they will what a hit. For it and uh, Baltimore comes up with it. Baltimore Colts. Street in there, your league can yeah. dissipate in a hurry. He really has uh, indicated that in preseason, regular season, the penchant for coughing up the ball, and uh, Miami had protected it so well all day. Chicago and that lightning caught him a little bit, and uh, some of the fans, I think, remember about that. See that? Many of the fans have mm. pulled out, and we frankly don't blame them. I don't think I've ever seen it rain this hard at a football game, Frank. <laughs> I don't believe I've ever seen it rain this hard. We are getting a lot of water in our booth. Chicago, I guess, can really wow. turn on the rain. Five-yard penalty offside against the Steelers. 
Yeah. Now you've got quite a few stadiums though that like you can yeah. put a roof on it. Yeah, you, you always sort of like look at things like Buffalo and you think, well, no, Buffalo don't have a dome. Yeah, it would make like, a lot of sense and probably yeah. like help them quite a lot. But I'm thinking... Unless they, they get used to them conditions and the people that play there aren't liking I'm it. Thinking. But they... Other people might not like going there. Yeah. So they might might benefit them, especially yeah. if they're doing training. They're training, that, they're training that kind of conditions, they're used to it. Yeah. But it's quite a few places as well where you're going to get cold weather in the, uh, in the winter. I don't know, anywhere, Indianapolis, Chicago, they're all prone to snow, aren't they, sort of thing? Uh, Philadelphia. Yeah, Denver. Mm. More places like that. Looks like a snowstorm. Michigan against Ohio State. <laughs> Archie Griffin, the Heisman Award winner, around the right He's rather playing on the ice, isn't yeah, it? it is. I really cannot tell you before you can read anything. Stay it actually, really does look more like a snowstorm than it does a rainstorm. I'll tell you, if our technicians can hold it together in this, they get our nod. Everything coming unglued now in the booth. <laughs> This calls for a little poise on the field. <laughs> Second down at five. No, you can't see it on no. the field. You cannot, you literally cannot see it. on the field. I have never seen anything quite like it. The only time I have is when I was a kid in Minnesota and we used to play in a snowstorm, right? <laughs> and that's about what it looks like, even though this time it's straight up rain. That's another one as well, isn't it, in Minnesota? There's literally yeah. hundreds of people out on the field now. Whoa! Around. They're enjoying yeah, they're loving it. It's happening. It's going to be awfully hard. Get them all off the field. Make the most of it. Yeah. Stay out. Where was this? Pittsburgh. I think it's the Pittsburgh, didn't it? Because I know the Steelers. Yeah. That's the Steelers, isn't yeah. it? I'm, I'm just wondering if they had the home or away team. Hey! I think we better get a little delay in the game. <laughs> Even though by football rules you're not supposed to. That's the three seconds. Feet of sound one. Can't even tell what color his jersey is. It was the Norse custom to bury Vikings aboard a burning ship at sea. But in the Coliseum, the game proved a soggy funeral for the Rams' Super Bowl ambitions. Minnesota won 14 to 7. And instead of the dispirited Rams, it was the Vikings who would contest the mighty Dallas Cowboys for the NFC Championship. Mighty Dallas Cowboys. Don't hear that anymore. Now, no. a somber Pittsburgh Sunday, boiler dreams were laid to rest. In a freezing rain, Houston fumbled six times. And the long ride was over. Be playing in a fog, and in the second half, that metaphor became a reality. When a dense fog descended upon Soldier Field, the Eagles' hopes of erasing the Bears' 17 to 9 halftime lead vanished in a puff of smoke. This thick gray curtain brought an air of menace and an aura of mystery. I've been in stadiums where they put you in high press boxes and you feel like you're looking through the clouds. <laughs> but in this case, we really are in the clouds. Here's how it looks to us, and we're only about 20 yards away from the play. We can hardly see it. In the stands, the fans can't. And they're relying on the play-by-play -play announcer to keep them abreast of what's going on. <laughs> I should pay money to go to the game you can't yeah, see. I know. Looking, he fires the pass. And it is. Intercepted. It may be intercepted by the Bears as Cunningham evidently fired into desperate. the fog and was picked off that time by the Bears, and that could do it right there. How did they know? Twenty to twelve defeat reduced the Eagles to figures in a surreal landscape, and their road to the Super Bowl receded into a hazy infinity. Uh, maybe that NHL, NFL best plays in bad weather, best plays in the bad weather, because there was a lot of you get you get the gist of what was going on there. It was a lot of it was yeah, hard a lot to of see. Fumbles, a lot of like it was hard to see the quality of the video was older sort of stuff. I mean, I yeah. don't know. I think I think was it last season we watched one where there was a, there was heavy snow. I think it was Buffalo last season. Wait, one got called off, didn't it? Didn't they have to play the game in like? Um, did they move the game from like Buffalo to somewhere else? Were they playing? I want to say something like Detroit. 
I'm not sure to be honest. Did they move the game? I'm, I'm sure they did. The snow reckon? was so heavy, and it was even on the it was on the news over here that the snow had been so heavy for um for for Buffalo, for Buffalo right? that yeah. they cancelled the game in Buffalo, and I think they had to play it in Detroit. I think the game was against Detroit, and they moved it to there. That's not so, really fair. Something really, like that. Someone, like, someone remind me. It was, it was along them lines. Yeah. What do you reckon the worst like weather that we've been to as, as, in a sports game? We went. To, do you remember we went to? Uh, I don't know if you were with me or whether you were at school. Are you going to um, talk about Munching Gladbach? Yeah. And they yeah, got called I was, off. I was, I was, I wasn't there. It was no. some of the heaviest rain I've ever seen, and I thought this. I think game, I was in Birmingham. I thought this game's going to get cold off here, and yeah. when we pulled up in the car, I was like, there was a break in the weather, and Gainer was like, I'm not getting out in this. It was proper pitch black. You know, it was like it was like midnight. Yeah, it, was yeah. night, it was a night game anyway, but it was yeah, still it bright. It was still, it was still a light night sort of thing. But the rain, the, the rain clouds were up black. It was dark, mm. and then uh, we made a run for it, um, right near the door, and we got quite wet, but it was we were okay. And then I seen people coming in that were just like looking like some of them on there, just dripping wet. Mm. You know, and they were, how can you be comfortable on that? So we sat there, and it was, we were in a box at the time, so it was all you know complimentary drinks and, and so, you, food. so you actually got into the stadium. Got into the stadium, got in the box, and I was watching, and everyone was sort of like talking. There was no one sort of like the, the rain was happening. There was like a sheet of rain coming off the um, off the awning where you went in, yeah. so you couldn't get through to the to the entrance without going through this sheet of rain, like a waterfall, like a basically. waterfall, yeah. yeah, sort of thing. So I'm like running, I'm like you know, with your mum, I'm just like go. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, she'd be dawdling and standing in the middle of it, yeah. <laughs> Sort of thing. So she she got in. I just legged it through it, and then we were sat in there. And I'm drinking, right? And then they bring the food out. And we're eating food, sort of thing. And I'm like, you know, so far the game's on. And then it's uh, it comes over the head tunnel, and it says, uh, one of the guys who are no works now come over to me. And he went, the game's going to get cold off. You're going to get another hour to stay in the stadium um, mm. and have drinks and food because we got we have to get rid of the food, otherwise it's just going to go to waste. Yeah. So have the food, have some more drinks, and then tomorrow the game's probably going to be tomorrow. So I'm like, how can he play tomorrow? What about all the German fans that have come over from Germany? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. There's like three or four thousand German fans over there. Yeah. So they had nowhere to stay or anything like that. So everyone was like offering up, if you want to come and stay with those people with spare rooms and things like that, saying you come and stay. And um, but he wasn't sure when the game was going to go ahead. So we had the um, we had the food and the drinks. And then he said, right. I, I went out there. I was drunk when I left there. I had about three bottles of wine. <laughs> and then we got. <laughs> Made the most. Of and then he said to us, right, your tickets are still valid tomorrow. Uh, the game's going to be seven o'clock tomorrow. Sort of thing. So we went back and said, the only problem you've got is no food tomorrow, it's drinks only. I went, I can't ask. <laughs> Leave before I come. <laughs> yeah, but it was uh, two nights, two nights on the drinks we got yeah, for free. Yeah, I remember yeah. seeing that. I was like, the loads, price of, loads of people in Manchester op- offering up spare rooms in yeah. there for the German fans. Because yeah. if, if the game gets called off and you've gone from different country to different country, it's a well, bit I mean, of a problem, you, isn't you it? Can drive, you can drive from Germany to England, but you you're not going to come you're on not the gonna go train. Imagine we went to Germany and or a ferry. the game got called off, like when we went to Dortmund or something, and then they mm. were like, yeah, it got called off, we have to go. And the only way we get home was drive or like, try and stay at a German's house. Yes, yeah. mm. until the next day. We're not going to drive home, it's yeah, going to take like 24 and, hours. You could obviously try and get hotels, but the weather was that bad. You didn't want to be sort of like, you know, sat around sort of like looking for hotels and yeah, things like yeah. that. You, you'd be able to book a hotel in Manchester, but even to get to Manchester, I don't know, the yeah, taxes well, yeah, you have to, there was no taxis at the 20 tram, minute walk. You can get the tram and then that's going to be packed. Be and that's, packed then yeah. there's a little bit of coverage when you're queuing up for it, but not a lot. Not to get everyone there, but it was just uh, it was, that was the worst weather I've been in for. I remember year. we went to a game at home though. I don't remember played like might have been like Everton or something. I played at home and the, the pitch was just white like snow. Yeah, and it wasn't like mm, snowing at the time no, or like it, was, it wasn't uh, like yeah. too thick to play. It was West Ham. We could we West come Ham, back. We come it. back from uh, we come back from holiday. You won't. You didn't. You weren't sure if you wanted to come because you literally dropped your bags after you got yeah. home from holiday. I got off the plane to the game. Dropped my bag and I went straight to the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but it was uh, it was snowing. Yeah, but I think that was West Ham. It was yeah. West Ham, I remember. He, he, they, it was like two, or they scored like an absolute banger in the last mm. minute. Yeah, yeah. But there you go. But yeah, play on no matter what the weather is, what I say. Uh, yeah. yeah, it depends. It could, it could, if there's like an actual lightning strike lightning on, strikes on the where you want to stop. Maybe that's, stop. That's the one where you want to stop. But the rest of it just yeah. has fun to it. But it's too much money involved now. But they, uh, they don't want any injuries. Yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one. Yeah, cheers. Cheers.